Let's wait. <laughs> cool. Repay. A thousand one. <laughs> Enemy targets detected. <gasps> Detected. Ready for another? Better late than ever. Commencing support. Hm. Enemy data switch network effective. Time for a good old counter attack. <laughs> You chose the wrong enemy. Repair. I'll never forget you. Stay back, Clarence. A miracle. Stay back, Clarence. I want to protect everyone, too. Oh. Mr. Shara. A thousand wonders. <laughs> Welcome, customers. Yeah! Enemy data switch network effective. Time for a good old counter attack. I want to protect everyone, too. Oh, Mr. Sora. Commencing support. Ready for another? All right, stay back, I'll see you off. <laughs> stay back, I want to protect everyone, too. Oh. Mr. Sora. Sure. Receive divinity. Better late than never. Eternal slither. And return! Welcome, customers. Yeah! 
the wrong enemy. is timely. Child. 
Take more than medicine. Now, you'll pay for this. Lend me your strength. We've entered the storm. To guard and defend. Crush them. I'll free you. Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. Freeze to death. Lance ablaze. Lance power. is timely. That'll take more than medicine. <laughs> this battle is unlikely your strength. What a headache. <laughs> I'll break you from your chain. Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. A world devoured by ice. And the eternal freeze will bury you. Judgment of eternal winter! To guard and defend! Crush them! <laughs> just, just a little something. Thank you. Hey. You'll pay for this. <gasps> they promise. And here is another proof of why Locha with a defense body is highly essential. Locha took so many hits that round, as well as Pinyin also, he took quite a lot of rounds. So this was particularly why defense body Locha was very important yet again. Normally you guys might be running attack, attack on outgoing healing boost or Attack, attack, attack. That is totally wrong. Wrong, wrong, wrong. I have to say it again. You must have at least one defense on your body to make this work. Because you 
should understand by now that Locha is weaker than Tingyun in terms of survivability department. So, well, Locha is almost like Tingyun's relic since he's stacking defense on his body. And you know, defense stacks higher in terms of survivability in compared to HP. So that's why defense was really important compared to HP. However, you too much defense is not good for Locha since you need HP to optimize the HP overflow. So at least a HP orb at level 6 should be enough, but then again you don't need so much attack. I'm using like a level 3 rope and a level 3 hands. So again, then again I have this like code here, it's only S1, so you don't need to invest so much in your attack. That's what I'm trying to say again and again and again, but many people still don't believe it. Right, and guess what? Since I have an E2 launcher, I don't need to upgrade the skill since he's got 30% outgoing healing boost here, so... Well, of course the feel is important and I try to get defense in as much as possible, so, so that's my real setup for launcher much. No, I haven't touched her, but anyway. Um, that's as that's at level 5, you can see how much he's moving up everyone on the team roster, so it's very very fast. Mm. And then I've got E1, so it's a little bit different from my last build. Mm. And for my Zilla, she's like having sword play, and okay, this is really important, I used the attack percentage substat focused quantum boost sphere instead of a crit damage boost sphere. Why so? Why I chose attack instead of crit damage is because of sword play. Sword play heavily focused on attack percentage rather than crit damage. Because the sheer amount of consistency that sword play offers you at S2 and S1, even S1 is good enough, but S3 it outperforms in the night at S1. That's why I'm trying to invest in my sword play. And my Zilla is like this for now, you can see that she's not critting as much because she's at 54% crit rate. Uh, crit damage is only 96.9 but it doesn't really matter since um, she's doing so much damage already. But I might want to upgrade this in the future just for the extra crit damage boost but that's not important for now since I'm doing so fine. And I don't have a, I don't have any more credits. It's only like four hundred thousand here since I invested into Jingyu and Locha. So, yep, that's pretty much. Then Clara's relics ha hasn't changed. She's still using the same terrible attack boot. I need to stack up more crit damage on her, unfortunately. But I don't have enough crit damage. Because my stuff starts are quite weak, and yeah, that's why. Shield Blazer Fire pretty much unchanged. Still the same old level 70. Still the same traces. Still the same relic set with speed and defense, you know, usual combo. Bronya, I got, but the battle isn't over, but I've been using Meshing Cogs for quite a little while now. But I think both of them are just as good. But, but the battle isn't over, it's just better for hyper carries. Machine Cox is better for basic attack spam support. That's pretty much it. And my Natasha is like this, um, pretty much unascended, level 70. And E6. And the relics. You know, usual Natasha, outgoing healing, HP, HP, because everything scales on HP. Uh, Pela, you might be surprised, but I've got Knife Purity Palace, because she does better with defense. So, speed here, but I need to upgrade the speed boot. And 132 is not enough for Pela, I need 134, because this is actually a breakpoint in the 7 cycle turn long run. Here, more defense here. 
For specifically Pela, it seems that defense is good for a level 50 Pela as well as a level 60 resolution shines as well as sweat. So Pela's doing a good job. And this is my first MOC 9 run this week, so yep. And before dawn here and pretty much it. Yep, so that's my build and my swap list at S2. Yep. Cheers.